My name is Hamid Ibrahim. I am a product manager in Nokia, working in, uh, in the area of uh, carrier software-defined networking, which we call carrier SDN, and, uh, and uh, represented through a product that we developed called Network Services Platform, which is an NSP. And what I'm going actually to show you here today is to show you a new technology that we developed uh, in, for the NSP that allows us to automatically and intel intelligently detect congestion and steer traffic automatically according to some uh, policies that we put that avoid congestion and, and, uh, and allows uh, congestion resolution uh, beyond what existing tools deployed in the network uh, can offer. So, so let me pretty much give you uh, a view on what, uh, what we mean here, trying to use SDN technology to solve congestion. So pretty much our focus will be on automation and control. Automation implies detection of congestion on a link in the, inside the network, uh, ability to identify the top end paths within that link, whether it's tunnels, MPLS LSPs and ability to identify top end flows contributing to that congestion. The control side, now once the congestion has been detected uh, and we know what traffic is causing the congestion, then the NSP, the, uh, the, 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 the product that we, we designed here in Nokia is to uh, be able to analyze the network and find the right alternate path that uh, avoid congestion for specific uh, uh, top uh, traffic. And this is according to the policy set by the user. So control implies decide uh, and, uh, 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 what alternate path to use, whether that alternate path is adequate for uh, the, the bandwidth requirements, and, th and then move selected traffic to that alternate path. So, so, so that, that the problem space we're trying to address with the uh, carrier SDN and uh, the NSP and the specific product that we're calling it an RCF or Network Resource Control Flow Controller as a module of the NSP platform. So, so pretty much the element of the solutions, I, I give you just a, a quick view before we jump into the actual demo. Pretty much, as I mentioned before, we developed an SDN application that has the intelligence to uh, reroute traffic uh, uh, when congestion happens. We need the ability to collect the statistics and do analysis of that data and, and feed the SDN application. This is done through the telemetry assurance component. What it does, it allows congestion detection, statistic collection, and flow analysis. And and so once we, once we have the data, we know what alternate path we need to send traffic, we're gonna use the protocol, standard-based protocol to instantiate the flows inside the network. And we do it through some level of open protocols like OpenFlow or BGP flow spec. So the network reference we're going to be using, so pretty much we have an MPLS network. We're showing you in the demo a node that generates traffic inside the network. And we have the NSP uh, NRCF product sitting as a SDN controller for that network. And we have the NSP assurance component that does the statistic and data analysis of, uh, of uh, traffic uh, flows. So pretty much the network will be an MPLS network. We show here like four routers, edge routers, core routers, and, uh, and uh, other edge routers. So, so what we are trying to do, we have a primary labeled switch path going from router 10 to router 12, and we're trying to detect congestion inside the network. So congestion here is a link congestion, let's say between router 11 and router 12. And once congestion is detection, we want to use an alternate path to reroute traffic, to reroute 
some selected traffic uh, to the alternate path. So that's pretty much the, the context of uh, this demo. So pretty much co co detecting congestion, analyzing traffic, selecting traffic, and rerouting automatically this traffic to avoid the congested link. So once traffic reaches uh, uh, with the policy-based NSP that sends the, the policies to the network, then, then the congestion has been resolved. So to switch back to the demo mode, now we have, uh, uh, this is uh, part of the NSP uh, platform uh, front end. So we have here too, uh, the way an RCF uh, product works is where we have like the base protocols like the open flow and BGP flow spec. And beside them, there are a number of flow based applications. This one, what I'm going to show you is one application among several applications we developed. One of, and this one deals with congestion resolution inside an MPLS network. Other applications we're working on is congestion resolution for uh, IPv4 traffic, IPv4 or V6, and as well uh, egress peer engineering, uh, uh, DDoS uh, mitigation. These are all some of the flow-based applications uh, we're developing. So in that front end, I have like in the base infrastructure i have the protocol what we call open flow and here for example we're showing that the nrcf is connected to an open flow we have an open flow controller uh, has uh, right now we're using version 1.3.1 it uh, it uh, it controls our uh, service router uh, sr routers uh, for nokia sr routers so we have uh, uh, we instantiated one switch there one open flow switch that has one table, and, uh, and we show as well that that, that uh, switch uh, is manufactured uh, actually by uh, Nokia. So, so below it, I have the flow characteristic. Initially, when the switch comes up, there is only one default flow. That default flow represents, let's say, these are all standard-based elements, like the cookie, the priority of the lookup, of the flow entries when traffic entering the network. How, uh, so how you start uh, going through searching the uh, open flow tables and, and uh, what uh, w all the relevant information that uh, make up uh, a flow. In this case, we, we, since we have nothing, we, this is the default flow. So traffic is flowing normally through the network. There's no redirection here. So beside that, we have the application that, uh, uh, that we discussed before, the traffic optimization uh, for MPLS networks. What we, we were doing, the ability, as I mentioned before, detecting congestion is instantiating what we call TCAs or threshold crossing alarms. These threshold crossing alarms, when, when let's say I say in, in a given link of the network, when you hit 80% utilization, raise an event to the SDN NRCF, and NRCF, when it gets that event, it starts analyzing the data, analyzing the traffic, and identify the top traffic that contributed to the congestion, and make some routing decisions where, uh, what traffic to select and where to reroute that particular traffic. So that part of the uh, NSP uh, is based, uh, each, each time, uh, uh, congestion is raised, we show a red flag showing, for example, uh, congestion uh, has been raised and, uh, and uh, indicating what interface, what link is associated with that congestion and as well what, what the congestion thresholds we set here, for example, 2 meg and what's the rate as well, the average rate. Once this is done, we show as well what are the top end flows that are on this particular uh, link. So as you can see here, just what's happened here, traffic has been detected, uh, congestion has been detected on the green, and traffic has been rerouted to the alternate LSP. So let's see here what happened in the network actually. When you see traffic switched from the red here 
uh, from the green, the green went down, so we removed some traffic and we put it in the red LSP and the red now becomes having more traffic. So what happened is this, so, so traffic, uh, as you can, we showed before in that uh, plotter that shows the traffic rates and uh, for the different LSPs, that what happened here is we, we received a congestion, congestion notification that on the interface number three, and so we switch traffic, we identified the top end flows, and we switch the first uh, top flows, 3.5 meg, to the alternate LSP. So let me show you as well in the flow deployment. So in the flow deployment, you will have like two, LS, two, two flows there, automatically created by the system. And you can do it manually, but in our demo, we're showing that uh, there is no user configuration. Everything is done uh, automatically, trying to really highlight the value of a carrier SDN that simplify how to operate the network with, the, with this solution. So here, like we have uh, a new flow has been added by the system, by an RCF, that redirect traffic to the alternate LSP. And in this case, you can see here, the destination address is 38, 120, 148. That's our top end flow that we discovered. We, we didn't know that that traffic was there. So we discovered that flow and we decided to reroute it to the alternate path. And this, this tool allows us as well to redirect to LSPs, to redirect to VPN, uh, to redirect VPN services, to redirect the VPLS services, to redirect to next hop, uh, we have a number of uh, choices that we implemented on the router as well on the controller side. Basically, in summary, what we're trying to do is trying to aim towards making uh, the network more simplified from an operational standpoint and complementing existing tools with carrier SDN to tools that allows more uh, intelligent uh, uh, op operation of the network beyond what existing uh, protocols developed for IP networks allows us. Thank you.